What's going on, everybody? It is the one, the only Q here from Retro Q Gaming, and well, we may be in for a bit of a storm. And this storm is something that you may search on this channel, and you will find that I predicted, if not called, this several years ago. If this turns out to be true, of course. But well, you know, knows Q Damas is who he is and whatnot. So what are we talking about here anyway? Well. According to some new back-end hidden server data on the trash fire that is ruining PC gaming, that is the Epic Game Store, we have two new interesting listings that showed up today, but were promptly removed once discovered and reported upon. Now, one of these is, as I mentioned, already expected and predicted. The other one, not so much, but will touch on both of them in a second. So first off is the more high profile and obvious one, the one that I predicted several years ago, is that it seems that there is a listing or was for a cloud save option for Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC on the Epic Game Store. Now, of course, this was, like I said, quickly removed. And as expected, this was pretty much inevitably coming to PC. But the big question, of course, is or was or still is, I suppose, is it coming exclusively to the Epic Games Store, timed exclusively, that is, or is it coming to all platforms at the same time? You know, Steam and Epic Game Store and whatnot. And it's 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 a big question, because let's face it, Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VII Remake are, well, I suppose when you combine them together, it's a very big, important, monumental, influential game. So to have that remake is a very, very big deal. So it would not surprise me at all if Epic Games threw a huge amount of money Squaresoft's way, or rather Square Enix's way. Here's me talking like it's the original Final Fantasy VII. But it wouldn't surprise me if they threw a massive amount of money a la Kingdom Hearts or many other examples that we have of them throwing that money towards it to get timed exclusivity. And of course, another one that I mentioned as well a little while back, well, maybe a couple of years at this point, but you may remember that the Final Fantasy VII Remake also uses the Unreal Engine, and Epic Games have it in their like, user agreement and their terms and whatnot, that if you release timed exclusively on their platform, on the Epic Game Store, they will waive the licensing fee for every copy of the game. So, naturally, that means that Square Enix would get more profit from each individual sale. Now, of course, this cloud save support listing does not discount it from potentially launching on Steam at the same time, and it does not confirm that it will be a timed exclusive. Now, having said that, unfortunately, I do believe after the Kingdom Hearts incident, if, you, if Kingdom Hearts hadn't happened on PC like the way it did, I would have said there was a good chance of Final Fantasy VII Remake coming as timed exclusive to the Epic Game Store, simply because of the amount of money and the licensing fee that... Square Enix and um, Epic Games would deal with. So there was a good chance that that would happen, but I still assumed that there was a reasonable chance it would launch on Steam at the same time, because Squaresoft, I keep saying Squaresoft for some reason, I guess the old Final Fantasy VII fan in me just will not die hard. Square Enix had been great with their support of not taking the money for timed exclusivity on stuff. Of course, that seems to have changed with the likes of Kingdom Hearts and whatnot, but you get the idea. We'll have to wait and see. The current timed exclusivity was renewed with the updated PS5 version for at least six months, which would put the end of those six months in December. So we'll see how that one goes. But potentially more interesting in, in a way, just in and of itself, is the other listing we had with cloud save support for this whole Epic Games thing. And that was a listing for Alan Wake Remastered. This is something we've heard practically nothing about in any way, shape, or form. Um, I will touch on why that is. And especially with E3 having just happened, you get the idea. I mean, that would have been the perfect time to announce it, maybe. But anyway, let's pull it back a second. So first off, we had no idea that this potentially even existed. An Alan Wake remaster in modern technology and modern hardware and modern software could do exceptionally well. I mean, I know if you've been paying attention to me, I've been saying just how great uh, proper ray traced shadow, ray traced lighting, even throwing ray traced reflections and ray traced ambient occlusion, although I guess AO is technically shadows. But just imagine Alan Wake, if you've played it, 
with ray tracing and all the the benefits and whatnot that modern engines and modern anything can afford to it. And of course, let's let's face it, Alan Wake is a great game in general. So it just wonders what kind of degree this potential remaster would have. And of course, there's the big question as well. Would it come to Steam? Would it be same time Steam? Would it be timed exclusive on Epic Games and then eventually come to Steam? Well, typically I would say yes to the latter, that it would be just a timed exclusive deal and then it would come to Steam. But you may remember a little while back, Remedy announced that they're partnering with the new publishing arm of Epic Games in order to do two upcoming projects. And these projects would both be 100% financed and funded by Epic Games, which to me screams it's it's essentially their their version of it, if you will. It's essentially them just paying for the whole thing. And to me, it just screams that it's going to 100% stay exclusive to that store. Now, the big problem in there is that we don't know if Alan Wake Remastered is even a proper thing. It's even a proper whatever it is. We also don't know that even if it is real, it's one of the projects mentioned with the 100% publishing deal. It could be other things entirely. It could be an Alan Wake 2. It could be something completely different. But let's face it. If one of the big projects was Alan Wake 2, what better way to drum up interest than Alan Wake Remastered? At the end of the day, this really just highlights the big, big problem with Epic Games, the Epic Game Store, and all of these bullshit practices. How it's fragmenting PC gaming and everything PC gaming stands for, and how they're trying to destroy it. All I know is, thankfully, all of these games that come out as Epic Timed Exclusive are easily, let's just say, available within a few hours, if not a few days at the latest. But hey... Final Fantasy VII Remake is a pretty big game. It's roughly 100 gigabytes, give or take. Thankfully, I got this new gigabit internet. And torrents have lots of seeds.